Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about Goyo and recently how to uh, utilize his full uh, ability instead of just using his shields for normal places and kind of like an in-depth of uh, how you can use him to a utility dump. And if you don't know what I mean by utility dumping, I mean how you have to have like, you get like two for the price of one, you have to have his Ophias and have a Thatcher to help you out. And uh, they had to take out the Goyos. Goyos is a really, a really um, stupidly powerful operator sometimes of just how his, his shields are insane. So, um, this is uh, influenced by the tweet of Pengu. I'll put it on the screen right here. But this is what he tweeted out that um, about the Goyo shields and how they are very effective. And Pengu, yes, he does get a little dramatic about some stuff, but he is right about most of the stuff he said he says so we're gonna sh i'm just gonna show you guys how to kind of utilize and kind of how to play goyo a little bit more to win the round and you know basically to get the full the full uh, potential of the shields and um yeah it is it is okay to put them out doorways because then yes they still have to hop over they have to do all that stuff but i'm gonna show you guys an organ just how you can, uh, one way you can, a different way to look at Goyo. So, uh, I do show, I don't know why I use Organ for a lot of my tip videos and just stuff like this. I don't know why, but, so basically, you know, there's just, uh, you put your stuff right here. Oh, yeah, this, you know, maybe like basic stuff like, oh, this. These are some terrible spots, but you know, like just basic, just basic stuff where like a normal shield would be. So the thing about Goyo shields, <laughs> yes, they are good like as a normal shield, but when they blow up, they immediately work against you. Whoever like, if this blows up, you're you're taking you're getting down to at least one shot, like maybe like 25 HP. Because this blows up, you're running away. The fire is already going through. Now instead of using them and using them like standing really close to these, and you're always like trying to shoot at them like, like this, it's just not you can't really work it up work against them like that but if you if you do act quick on them then they're pretty good but instead of doing that maybe since you have three shields you can maybe put one right here burn you a bit of utility but someone can easily go from above and just shoot it so you want to always make sure this is not exposed way too much and a way they can't really get shot but for example if you're able to get kid that if this hatch is able to get closed Goyo shields, you're gonna you're gonna have a fun time dealing with the admin. You're probably gonna win the round. You go like this, and you're wondering why am I putting them in the open like this? Well, obviously they have explosives, and one shield can cover this whole area. That it, I I would like to think of these. <laughs> Sorry, I saw I'm not a cold cold. But if you have a Meister cam, you basically have made a second smoke. Now, what do I mean by second smoke? When these blow up. I don't think this is just a chain reaction. It is like a chain reaction. Oh no, it doesn't. It's not like a chain reaction. So you can blow one of these up. You can basically stall 30 seconds right here. And basically, you just created yourself another smoke with like a maestro or uh, someone like, you know, like, look. Oh, no, come on, so. You basically just <coughs> have a denial. And anyone who tries to run through here will die, basically. And. The amount of Zofia, like yes, you're gonna get value if you shoot right here, but you still have to deal with another shield. And it's just this is such a utility like trade for trade, no matter what. Unless someone's able to, you know, shoot it. But that's why you kinda have the shield make your face like right here. Like something like that. But just like think of these as like entry denials. You may have heard of that in the E3 trailer, but just for example, if they're coming down here, <coughs> you shoot this, another like five seconds is wasted and five seconds in this game is extremely valuable of how you use it so like let's say like there's 20 seconds left and you know 10 20 and 10 seconds left i used to do it at like 15 because by the time it's five seconds there you just increase your chance of winning so like 10 9 8 they have to go plant 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so it's like a 10 seconds Oh, they can't run through here like even if it's just one shield so quit putting them on like doorways maybe like like it's okay 
but if you want to fully utilize it i think i'd just really share that with you guys like right here is okay but you know you could definitely use it a lot better for engine denial when they drop the hatch like, like if you put it right under a hatch and they don't shoot it if they drop it it's gonna blow up you're gonna think like yo why don't my gorgeous just blow up randomly it's because if you do kind of like move them or maybe like a get in the way if you like run on top of one you're gonna break it i don't know if you guys know that but i can't really show you that right now but yeah goyo is just such a really really strong up <coughs> he's got a pistol he used to have a shotgun but he would be basically another maestro and uh, ripped to the maestro acog but as a great weapon he has that he basically has an acog on two speed two armor with a c4 or barbed wire three shields two barbed wire basically you fill at least the most four of the three operators of their attacking utility which is extremely strong <laughs> that's all i just wanted to share with you guys today i know it was a short video uh but i, I do i really feel like uh i wanted to make a video top about this now there will be more in-depth videos in the future if you guys do have a question um of like how to rank up how to get skill level um like if you can't find that one video on youtube to explain for you like if you may watch like an austin or like a braction video and they have really good tips obviously but uh maybe if you want to have like a more in-depth um, explanation i can try to help you with that um i i'm currently like you know like a plot three plot two player right now i want to consider myself as good as one of them but i think i can really get you the basic understanding of how you can achieve what you want to do in this game so thank you guys for watching i appreciate it don't forget to share with a friend and i'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow peace